So what do pumpkins have to do with passion? So this last weekend, I got a chance to go to New Hampshire Motor Speedway and MC an event called Extreme Chunkin'. This is where guys and gals get together, build these machines, take eight to 10 pound pumpkins and hurl them as far as they can. I started about 20 plus years ago. You may have seen some of it on Discovery Channel, Science Channel, et cetera. And they flew it a couple hundred feet, et cetera. And now fast forward and seriously, American Chunker this last weekend 4,500 feet with a pumpkin with this air cannon. Uh, we got a little clip of what these guys are doing. Let's roll that video. I still get a kick out of watching that video every time. It's just awesome to see a giant machine throw a VW bug. And these guys are doing it with bugs, pianos, thousand pound pumpkins. You know, fans are gathering around. We're having a great time. And it's the passion. It's these guys love what they do. And they're coming to these competitions. They don't get paid. They don't win, you know, some big check. They get bragging rights. I threw a pumpkin farther than you. I built something bigger, better, badder. Why is it that we're drawn to that passion? People love seeing and being around others who love what they do. And Jack Welch said it, the CEO of GE, you gotta love what you do or you're never gonna do it, right? We're 60, 70% of our workforce is unhappy in their job. No wonder we have customer service issues and people are unhappy. We've got to find what it is that we love and do it. I asked my daughter on the way to school, I said, so, who do you know that is a passionate person? And at first she was like, dad, that's kind of a rando question. And I laughed a little bit and I said, no, serious, who do you know that's passionate? And she said, well, my teacher. And I was kind of taken aback. I thought it would be a celebrity or something like that. She said, no, my teacher. She said, when all the boys are going crazy and you know everybody's giving them a hard time, they still love what they do. And they have a passion for teaching. So are you doing what you love? Now, I'm not saying you got to quit your job and go join the circus. What I am saying is you need to ask yourself, what am I passionate about? What do I love to do that when I do it, other people around me are inspired to do something different? That's what I'm looking for. So I want to ask you, who do you know that's passionate? Who do you love talking to? Who inspires you? Share those with me in the comments. Post them on Twitter, uh, at ThinkJose. And of course, you can watch more of these at ThinkJose.com. We'll have some more coming up. That's the flavor of the day. So go find your passion, go add it to the world. Stay spicy.